Okay, so where were we? You were saying that I'm a genius. No, no. So in, in, in that realm, right? If you really just... Bro, like if, if you could have a bummy car, right? I you didn't do. need to have ambition. You didn't need to have these things that girls always... I was your girl. A girl's always like, oh, a guy has to have uh, goals. Has to have ambition. If, if girls did not give a shit about ambition, bro, we wouldn't get shit done. Like that's, I think that's just part of that is just real. Like we wouldn't, we wouldn't be trying to drive nice cars all the time. I, I feel like the effects that you see now of people driving nicer things and having nicer things is influence, right? Like, oh, Fabulous has nice chains on Fabulous. and he looks dope. <laughs> Fab, you know Fab. Of course, but he's such a random dude to bring up. Not a random dude. Uh, you're not in the hip hop game like that no more, huh? Look at you. I can tell. I can, of, he just dropped the album. Clearly, I don't know. Fire that. too. Ah, yeah. oh, this. You know what? You're done. Okay, you're done for hip hop talk forever. <laughs> All right. So, Clearly, I don't know. or or let's say you see Cam, right? Cam's wearing pink and he's always driving a nice car. You might be like, oh, but that's how I want to be, right? But you mostly will be that guy, or you want to be that guy because the girls want that guy. In in middle school, who are the guys getting all the girls? The idiots who were smoking weed all day, sagged their pants, had were thugged out, yo, 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 trying to fight everybody, trying to be the macho guy. That's all the girls love that guy. So what do most guys try to be? And, and maybe not be the exact regular, but, but try to, you know, get close to it. So, you know, where your mom won't kick you out the house for, you know what I'm saying? Where you can still, and then the same thing in high school. You try to get fly because that's all you have to show off. You, no girl expects you to have a car or a house in high school, but at least be fly. You get me? Because that, that's like, you know, yeah. style and shit like that. That's free. As you get older, it's like, all right, bro, you're in college now. You know what I'm saying? That little job, you got a McDonald's, you buy a little car now. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to be no Benz, but buy a little Chevy. You know what I'm saying? Kind of heavy. You think <laughs> what I'm saying? You know, we could be cute. And think about it. And as you get older, it's like, all right, bro, you know, you, know, you, don't, you don't need to drive a Benz. You know what I'm saying? Any little Chevy Yoda will do just fine. But you, know, you need to have a house now. You know, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be at your mom's house all the time. That's what girls are thinking. So guys are like, shit, well, I got to set my game up now. Now I got to go get a crib, yada, yada, yada. All of that stuff, bro. If you see about it, it plays hand in hand to everything guys do is for girls. Like, even when you're married, all, the shit you're going to do when you're married, you're, you're oh, going to do for, for your sure. girl. That's for sure. Because you're going to want to lay around on Sundays, just watch football, and just chill. That's what you're going to want to do. But your girl might not have that shit. She might be like, yo, get your ass up and help me clean or help me take a little CJ or whatever to the park. And you might have to do some shit you don't want to do. Again, you're doing that shit for a girl. So right. most of the things that guys do is for girls. You just got to dig deep enough to understand like, oh, you know what? That's part of that is right. When you pull up to a spot and you're dressed well, you want the attention from who? From the girls. You don't yeah. really care. Yeah, you do. Cause I want the butler to be like, yo, nah, that fresh. your homeboy is going to be like, oh, you fresh, you fresh, you fresh. You're going to feel that way. Cool. But now let the girls are saying, oh, bro, you look good. You're going to put the little, all right, cool. All right, cool. But the whole time, that shit yeah, getting to your like, head. Stop yeah, all right. Stop it. Yeah, all right. But stop. the whole time, it's getting to your head. Because that's, that's what we seek, though. We seek that kind of attention from the girls. So at the end of the yes, of course. At the end of the day, it's always for Why do you dress the way you dress? Because I don't want to dress up any other way. But some people find this fresh. No one finds this fresh. Of course. No. A lot of people. You look like a white guy who works at Abercrombie right now. No one wants to work at Abercrombie. What? A bunch of kids work at Abercrombie. Yeah, like they're 12. So what? Yeah, you like your 12 sometimes. Damn, thanks, bro. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. You got a little facial hair right now. But I'm just saying, though. At the end of the day, why do you dress the way you dress? Okay. Why do you dress? All right, but let's break that bullshit down. Let's break it down. Why do you... Why the choice of of attire, the silhouettes, the fit? Why? Why that choice? Because I like the shoes. Because I like the comfort. Uh-huh. Because I like the versatility of the pants, versatility of the hoodies. But would you also agree... Pants. Would you also agree, though, that they make you look better? No. Okay, so why not wear baggy, a baggier version of this? I have some baggy version. Yeah, but like a big baggy version. Like, why Why such a fitted... Uh, that's what I'm asking. Why Why do you go to the mall, right? Where you probably have this... What, is, what are these? I don't remember. Uh, so, you know, Levi's, they have like the 501s, mm -hmm. the 511s, right? They have the same jeans, just in all mm -hmm. different sizes. Why do you go for one size? Like, like, why go for a 5'11 instead of a 501? Because I feel like it suits more to the style that I am currently conforming to. Exactly. But, so you are saying that you are mentally choosing this because it's a better fit for your body. Mm -hmm. It makes your body look better. No, That's, I don't know if it makes your body look better. Of course it, it makes your body look feel better. Like, it fits better. Yeah, but if you, right if, but when you look good, you feel good. Everybody yeah. knows that. If you look like shit, you don't feel but great. I don't look good. 
Okay, exactly. But that's that's your mentality, though. Your mentality is that you always look good, so you're always going to feel good. Yeah. But you always look good, though, because of the choices that you make, though. Not mm-hmm. because somebody else made it I for made you. The best choices in life. Okay, then, Sam. So, so that's what I'm trying to get at. So you went ahead and you decided to pick these pants, these fitted pants, right, that will fit you just right enough for you to do one cuff and it will reveal all the ankle in the world. <laughs> Think about that shit. Yes. You you pick a, silu- a sneaker silhouette, which is, like, super popular, but it looks good on anybody. It doesn't matter. Like, that's that's like the that's the best sneaker of all time if you really think about it. you wear that shit with anything yeah. a suit any whatever you want you wear that that's probably the best sneaker silhouettes you get me of all time you made those choices though on on the fit on, 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 yeah, however you want stuff to they fit were on sale and I couldn't afford anything else. It doesn't matter, but you still picked that. No, but I couldn't But you didn't have to buy that, though. I had to. I had to. No, you didn't. I had to. It was no, no. You no. You had to buy Listen, everything. what you're trying to do right now is talk your way out of the in- inevitability that I'm right. You're wrong. And I what we agree. do, yes, agree. you do know, agree. I you don't. just you just don't want to be wrong. No, I really don't agree. I just feel like because it's so Oh, vague, God. It's so vague and arbitrary, the point you're trying to make, that no matter what way you play it, you could so easily argue it. That's what my point is. Yeah, but the but this is the thing though. The thing about me is that I don't care about being right right now. I just care about telling you I told you so. Yeah, but that's you, what I care you're about. Wrong, I I'm definitely me. not wrong. I know me. I don't. Okay, know so let me ask you a question. So before you had a girlfriend, right? How would you dress? The same way. No, you wouldn't. And don't lie. I haven't seen you wear a pair of Jordans in forever. Oh yeah. Okay, you used to wear Jordans before. I know, but I wanted. How, to how you used to let your hair grow? A lot. How, okay, what else you used to wear? When we play ball at church, what would you do? Oh, I still wear the same fits for short church. Huh? Play ball. Okay, but why? Why would you choose these things? To play ball? I don't know. Yeah. Like, why would you wear Nike shorts and black tees to play ball? That's what I still wear most of the time. Yeah, but why? Because that's Think, what I, that, that's, I'm asking you the questions of why. What do you mean? Because first of all, black it's is my simple. favorite color. I is wear it, black every day. I understand. Day why color. would you wear black every day? Because that's, I think that's the best color in the world. Okay, and you don't think that subconsciously has to do with the fact that you're super white and that black stands out <laughs> no, more? definitely not. Okay, I just, I just wanted to know. No, no, I'm not super white. No, you are super white. You're whiter than me. That's not super white. And I'm not whiter than you. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pale, though. I'm, I'm not pretty bad. Than yeah, you're definitely whiter than me. You always have this conversation. Yeah, you know, you're just okay. denial. No, no, you're in denial right now. Uh, you don't want to... Listen, okay. Yo, we, you literally are trying to like be like, nah, bro, I do this for me. I, I no, do. you don't. I do. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. Everything stemmed from somewhere. In middle school and high school, you acted differently. And for what? And then you mature, you grow. Exactly. You but adjust. but think about that, though. But why do you act the way you act? No, no, but you I, always got to think about I those things. I what you're saying. And I'm telling you, I can relate to some things. Because, like, for example, you were in J's because everybody else were in J's. Eventually, okay. you get into the sneaker Why game. not wear Skechers? No, no, I, I agree with you in that sense. And eventually, you know, you get into the sneaker game and you start picking the J's you actually like. Right? right, because even within J's, there's ranks, and even within the, the first 23, there's ranks like nobody wearing 23s, mm-hmm. nobody's wearing 22s, nobody's wearing yeah. 19s. Right, uh, you wear 20s, you might wear 17s, but mm-hmm. even those correct, are correct. pushing it, right? Uh, you wear 13s, you wear 11s, you wear 10s, you wear 9s. 1 to 13, yeah, 1 to 13 was safe, yeah. maybe even 14, but 14s were fire, so yeah, that's the same. But uh, my point is, even within that, there was a rank, and so as you got deeper into it, you understood, like, oh, now. And I get what you're saying, because at first you probably did it for the hype, mm-hmm. because the girls like the guy with the J's. But eventually, even now that you buy shoes, you're not buying shoes because you want to press a girl. No, but it all started from that one person that you saw that influenced you. No, no, right? I agree. But that's and what, it but you stems. Said, you said everything was from a girl. I agree that yes. it's influence. Not everything is Bro, from a girl. Bro, that's where... The thing is this, though. The thing you is that... You want to trickle that. My influence no, no. was by somebody yes, else. Yes, because... Else uh, okay, nah. we, we dismiss why we do things is a problem. And we don't ask questions as to why we I do agree, things enough. We don't question it. Right. Don't question so, it. because you saw somebody, right, that, that influenced you... That was your version of cool. Now you want to be like that guy, right? That guy is attracting girls, whatever it may be. Whether it's because, oh, yeah, I want to be like that guy because he's getting girls. Or I want to be like that guy because that guy is a version of cool. That's still a very big influential thing. And just because you don't immediately think about, oh, yeah, I'm going to buy this car to impress girls. No, you're buying a car because you actually like the car. Yeah. And if it impresses girls, then great. You exactly. know what I mean? You're buying a house because yeah, you can, truly like the that. house. Yeah, but it impresses that. girls, great. Yeah, that's a bonus. I understand that. Like, that, that part's, like, engraved right here. I understand. We're not making decisions. But that's what I'm saying. Subconsciously, we are making those decisions based on what other people are going to view us as. And those other people, to men, most importantly, it matters when it comes from girls. That's that. That's usually the stem of everything. You probably don't realize it because you're not thinking about it. But if you actually just sit down and think about some of the things that you do, and you ask yourself why, you d- look, look, okay, look at the answer you gave me now. You said, "Oh, I dress for me." 
That's the dumbest answer in the world because that's what everybody... Ask a teenage girl right now, why do you wear hoodies every day to school? Oh, because it's, I do it for me. No, because you're fat. You're probably trying to hide your wow, weight. so you're calling me fat? Bro, I'm not calling I, you fat. I skipped the gym one month. I'm, I skipped I'm, the gym listen, one month. I'm having arguments with you that I've had with, like, for example, I've had arguments with little kids, right, who at the time so were, like, 13, 14 years. No, I'm just telling them, like, yo, why y'all wearing hoodies? Oh, I just like it. Bro, but it's, like, 80 degrees out, so why are you wearing hoodies for? Oh, but this is just me. This is what I like to do, blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. Kind of find out years later when we're having another conversation. It's like, oh, well, you know what? I'm not allowed. I was a little insecure about my weight, so, you know, I just wore a hoodie or cover. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. At the time, you probably didn't realize you didn't mature to no, the no, point. I, I understand what you're saying, and I do agree that most people don't question their whys, right? Like with different things. Uh, but as far as me, my when it comes to clothes, there's three things: it's comfort, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's uh, the idea that I should be able to grab anything out of my closet and it should match, right? So I want to be able everything to be pieces. And the third thing is that I want simplicity. You have it. You will clearly know. I want of course. Simplicity. And so that's how I dress. Right now, let me ask you something though. How you dress, right? So, if I, I put somebody like me, right? So, I, I pay attention to details, especially if somebody dresses, right? So, how you dress is to a fit, to a T. Maybe you don't realize this to a T, but not too many people could just wear a pair of pants and do one cuff and it's good. You do know that, right? No, I already do that. Everybody no, everybody no, everybody. I have jeans that if I don't tailor, I could never do that. I'm way too short for that. But you just have pants that you could just do it, boop, and that's it. Because that, yeah, because that's the style you go for though. That's a style that you feel good in. No, that's a that's style, a style that, that makes you look good. Works and it no, no. Look, we had this conversation here before. I said, look, I I like all the fear of God stuff. I like the meaning behind fear of God, so I'm going to wear it. I personally don't think that aesthetically it looks the best on me. I know what aesthetically looks better on me. A, a good a pair of jeans, a flannel, some boots, whatever. That's a, a good go-to that you, I'm always going to look good in. That I feel like I'm always going to look good in. You have your, oh, this is what I'm, I'm going to look in. This is what I'm going to feel good in. Yada, 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 right? That's that's your whole maneuver. But at the end of the day, it is for you to look good, though. You I say yourself, oh, I'm fresh all the time. But fresh for who? For me. For yeah, me. cool, but you still go out. When you're at home, how you dress? You got no shoes on. I got no shirt You got on. no shirt on. Exactly. You got you probably got some whatever shirts on that you might not even wear outside. Who knows? You get me? Like, yeah, I, I, I don't know how you dress. I don't know. Sometimes I walk around my house in boxers. Okay, yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like... It, I have it, a black tee and shorts on. Right, and that's what I'm saying though. Like, you still wear what you want to wear. You like it, cool. I'm just letting you know that a lot of the shit that you do, that you pick, is gonna look good though. But why? Because I'm trying to impress a girl. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm asking. You. Do you think that the stuff that you pick that looks good, that looks clean, that looks simplistic, do you think that that just happened? Like it just like like nobody ever done that before. Like you're the first person, and it just like clicked no. in your head. And, and I'm telling you, everything is influenced. I know that. So where'd you get that from? But let's go with that. Where'd you get no the simplistic part think. from? Exactly. And that's what I mean by it gets lost in translation because you don't know if some guy you saw would look super minimalistic, super confident, and you're like, yo, this guy's a stud. There's some guy that you'll call a stud. Be like, oh, this guy's a stud. And like, oh, I like that look. And I could go ahead and get that look. And he influenced you to do everything that you do today. But it gets lost in translation. Again, guys do everything for girls. It's not, and it's not that black and white. I get it. It's not that, it's not like, oh, but I'm going to put on this sweatshirt because it's going to make the girls want me. No, no, it's not that black and white. But we all know that we do shit for the opposite. Just, just like the argument of girls going to the club. Why are you going to the club if you're not single? Like, if you have a boyfriend, why do you go to the club for? For what? And we I had the know, whole conversation. Know, oh, we're not trying to impress I'm guys. You fun. put on a lie, cake of makeup lie, lie. and you put on a fly fit and you want to take Instagram pics, dance and smoke and hookah and shit. Like, what are you... You sure you're having fun? I'm sure that while you're getting dressed, you're like, oh, yes, I'm going to get all the niggas there. I'm sure you're not thinking about that. But you know, in the back of your head, though, if a bunch of guys go to your group of girls and you don't get talked to, you're going to feel some type yeah. of way. You get me? And again, you can understand that more, though, because it's not... At you, you get me? It's to girls, you can kind of see that. So, the question is, can you see within yourself, dig no, deep, and be like, I, I you know what? Maybe George is right. Maybe no, no, some no. of the shit that I've done can, has I, been for I, girls. No, no, I can agree with the part where you talk about influence because I think it's true. I think everybody, in some way, shape, or form, starts influencing whether you speak or the way you look, the way you dress, the yeah, way yeah. you think and conceptualize the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I agree 100%. Mm -hmm. What I don't think is it always trickles down at the center of the court for women. I don't co completely agree with that statement. That's what I don't Okay, agree. what do you think then are things men do that would not even involve women at all? Sports. 
Like, okay. Like, when you're like, like, I'm a big Patriots fan. You see how I get really into it. Yeah, yeah. Yo, if my girl was watching the game or if any girl was watching the game or no girl was watching the game, that would not affect the way I react when the Patriots are playing. But isn't sports a manly thing to do? Yeah, but... A manly thing to be in? To participate, but I don't participate. I watch. Yeah, but either either one though. If nah. you do either one, it is a manly thing to do. Either one. When when you when you find a girl that knows all about sports, like for real, I'm talking about knows about yeah. sports for real. What do you do? Nah, nah, Be honest. She tripping. Huh? I'm, 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 I'm like she's tripping. There's nothing wrong here. Doesn't add up. She's not it, a real girl. Exactly. It's, you just said it's, it's not a real girl because it's not normal for girls to be on that. But for guys, it is. It's a manly thing. Is it? To participate, cool, but to also know about sports, that's a manly thing too. So you could come down to the is that being a handyman? I'm not being I a handyman know. is like one of the things yeah. that it's a trade. Like, yeah. yo, Giselle put all this shit up for me. You get me? I'm sure Giselle's not out here. Oh, look at girls, look at hydro holes here. You get me? Like, no. But that's a manly thing at the end of the day. Like your your girl's gonna look at you in the tank top, fixing a chair, putting a little screw in the chair that your freaking daughter, little two year old daughter could do, but she's gonna be like, damn, that's hot, bro. Or you gonna put a dumbass shelf that you bought from IKEA that you could put in like three seconds. But she gonna look at that shit some type of way, cause that's like a turn on. That's a manly thing to do. That right there could also be subjective. Like, okay, that's for girls too. Think about it. it's, it's not too many things no, that you can no, name no, already, that will disclose girls I from already it. told you it's like the thing about the statement that you make is so arbitrary. You can argue everything. Oh, you can argue it. it. But, is, is but I'm right, though. No. Of course. Mean, I'll give you My thing is not about being I'm right, by the way. Be, I'm trying to be a good guy because I fear God. Okay. Does that have to do with girls? No, but that, that's a different relationship with God, though. That's exactly. different. But that's that's saying, different. But some people will be like, no, you're trying to be a good guy because, you know, church girls and blah, 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 blah. And so I could argue that's a good. Everything. That's a good argument that's right there, I'm too. So my point is that some that guys could fake that. that. That statement you're making is so arbitrary. Let me ask you a I question. Could, I could fit it into any space. Let me ask you a question now. You now are one of the consequences of you being a good guy, right, by fearing God. Does that not bring you girls? Yeah. That's a consequence. But that is a consequence. It's not a goal. Yes, but that's no. Is you're thinking that everything is a goal? That's what I'm trying to say. That comes subconsciously. It's like a, it's it's again. Let's call it consequences from now on. Then it's a consequence. Oh, yeah, that, 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 it's say, a consequence you, of it. Then the thing is that you and I know that I'm very clear about the words I use. So if you say consequence, no, let's not do that, Chris. No, let's not do that, Chris. If you say consequence, I agree. If you say goal or like purpose. That's what I'm like. No, 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 because you see, okay, now if we start talking goals and purpose, that's a little, goals are a little different than purpose. No, purpose no, no, is like but, very but, center but thing. Say, when, you, when, I, when you say like, oh, everything you do is for a girl, to me. Four girls. Yeah, four girls, uh -huh. right? To me, it sounds like you say the purpose of the, everything is for a girl or no, the goal no, is to no. get a girl. No, that's, that's how I explained it by saying, no, I know you're not getting dressed right, thinking or you're but, not but buying you something say, thinking. When you say, because this is what you constantly say, is everything we do is for a girl. Yes, because, because you know, I say because for one, it builds impact. That's number one. The first reaction you get is, what? Well, you no, I, I don't. Get it. I get exactly. It. That's number one. I get but it. but number two, though, which is the most important one, is that we need to start saying what it really is, though. We got to start wash consequences. That's washing it over, though. That's, yeah, but that's, what that's it is. no, because you're the I know you're products. coming from intention. Yeah, yeah. You're saying your intention of doing this is yeah. not for the girl. Yeah. I understand that when we talk about intention a lot, yeah. I understand that part. Right. But the initial the first thing that got you to do something was that cool figure or whatever it was that inspired you, right? Whatever it may be, though, it, it, it's what got you into it. And the road that you took, it was still from that first step. It's like us picking up a, a camera and a little f mic, making something, and 10 years later, it blows up to be like something. Well, it's, it was always about that initial time. You know what I mean? That, that initial thing that we that we first did is just going to get washed over. Because, yo, there's going to be... Nobody might ever watch the first episode of I'm Down ever, but they might watch the... 2003 yeah. episode and watch from the 2003 episode and on they're not trying to go back to episode yeah. number one joe rogan has a thousand and something episodes i've never seen the first episode of joe rogan parker i'm not trying to scroll through all that shit yeah, to watch you, it you keep the new stuff, exactly yeah. i'm just gonna watch whatever new shit comes up that's interesting to me whatever guest is interesting to me and i'll watch that you get me but it was always because of that first initial thing so, was, so the reason i say it the way i say it is because we're not aware, and this is why I say we don't ask the why. You get me? Example, one of the conversations we're having is why do we buy gifts on birthdays, or why do we buy gifts for Christmas, or why do we do this on this day? So why do we do this? Right, which when we get to the bottom of it, I could just say, oh, we buy gifts on Christmas so we can all make each other feel good, or we buy gifts on Christmas because we're all fake, or we buy whatever fucking title I want to put, like gives that, that clickbait or whatever bullshit. Some people are going to be like shocked at it, and now we can have a conversation about it because. 
We don't know why. You get me? And the, the thing about it is like when you start thinking about why you do the things you do, most of the time it just comes down to people. You get me? You're trying to impress people. And most no, of those I people, agree. when it comes to guys and girls, it's just you're trying to impress the opposite sex. I agree. Imagine something. Why why the car you have right now, the Fiat, why that car? Because at that point, it made sense. Like, you know, mm-hmm. at first I was never thinking of a Fiat. Yeah. But the way things started playing out, you know, um, it was a good car, it was a good price. Uh, it was way, way, very well taken care of. Mm-hmm. And um, it just kind of like, well, at least to me, I pray about everything, you know. But I yeah. just ask, you know, pray about everything, you know, and just trust the Lord in everything. And so I just felt like God was literally guiding me to this car. It may sound weird to somebody who yeah, doesn't yeah. understand that. Yeah. But to me, it was literally God guiding me to this car. Yeah. Okay. Now, you're, uh, you told me a story before. Yeah. Now, take this. You love Italy. Yeah. Is it a coincidence that the car that you have just so happens to be like a very popular car no, in Italy? It might be subconsciously, right? But, uh, you just say you were never thinking about a Fiat, but it just happened. Yeah. But it all happened from that initial thought that, oh, yeah, I really like Italy. And maybe, because mm-hmm. the question could also come be, okay, well, I, I, a good deal, all of that. What if it would have been another car? Yeah, but You could have had another yeah, car. Yeah, you could have had a beat up yeah, Honda Civic. You know what I'm saying? saying? Like, you're saying that, that there's like that, that ram, that. The point, stuff that we don't think about. Beginning. Yes, I, yes. And I, I, and I think that that's what we need to get to, though. As people, we need to get to a point where it's like, okay, like scratch through the like that. What's that? I'll give you an example. What's that thing that Shrek uh, Donkey says? The onion, right? You oh, yeah, peel, peel the, the onion, layers. the layers, exactly. So, because like you know, we're going through a huge epidemic, regardless, right? And this has been going on for over two thousand years. People don't know who they are. They have. We talked about this. You have no purpose. You have no nothing. So you're lost in the world, anyways. You get me? So one of the small steps, and for you to try to find out more, is asking yourself why yeah. you do. Especially, okay, for a simple thing. Why do you shake somebody's hand? Like why? Yeah, why, why, do, why do we just go... Why is shaking somebody's hand the respectful thing and then adapt is a disrespectful thing? You know what I'm saying? Every time, if, I, if I go to CEO of my company right now and I shake his hand, that's looked at as a very professional, very thing. If I go to CEO and I dap him, you get me? I clap him up like how we do in the streets or whatever. That's looked at as like, yo, that's unprofessional. That's uncanny. That's not... But why? why, why? Look, I, I asked myself that going through the entire Europe program that I went through. All the stuff that we, oh, this is how professional acts. I'm looking the whole time like, so like, we gotta be dictates, fake. Yeah, like who dictates that? Yeah, like uh, why do we act like that? You know yeah, I mean? like why? Why is this deemed professional? Like yeah, why? Yeah. And I agree, I agree, I agree. No, I, I'm telling you, it's just I think that sometimes you have a tendency, and this is what I tell For you. For sure, you have a tendency to make these big claims, and then yeah. I'm like, eh, like what? That, like, like the whole idea of everything we do. And that's yeah, how you started. Yeah, yeah. That's how you yeah, started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You started everything, with everything we do. Everything, because everything, every big thing you're going to do. Like every big, every big moment you're going to do, uh, in the beginning times of your life is gonna be for a girl. You're gonna, you, you're gonna wanna buy. Okay, you, you, you're in that married life, right? Uh-huh. I'm not. So let's put me and you side by side, right? Let's say I get a girlfriend, right? Okay, I don't mind getting a nice studio apartment. I don't care. Yeah, you sleep with me. You get me cool, right? You, you're gonna get married eventually, right? You're gonna have kids. So if you go and buy a crib, you're not thinking, oh, I'm going to buy a studio yeah, apartment. No, I got to buy, buy a crib or something with a couple of rooms in there and whatnot because you're thinking about something, yeah. right? You're thinking about your girl and you think about your kid, right? Me, on the other hand, I have a girlfriend. I don't care. A studio apartment is enough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can sleep right there. We don't need rooms and shit like that, right? That's enough, right? That's a, a big move. We don't buy a car. I, I want to go and buy a, a, a two-seater. Not a coupe, a two-seater, like a Lambo, right? Like, let's say, let's go with that, right? So I want to go and buy a Lambo or a Ferrari, right? That's a two-seater, all right? I have a girlfriend or no girlfriend. doesn't matter. Just one person going to sit there. You, on the other hand, I'm going to have a kid. Eh, a coupe? Yeah, I want a range. Yeah, you might want, like, you know, a Range Rover, a minivan. Whatever the fuck you're going to buy. You, know I mean? you might want one of those cars. Okay, let's go with a Range A four-door car. Point is, you're going to want a four-door car because it's more convenient. Who are you thinking about? Think about the kid. your kid and your girl. You always want to think about your girl, bro. Kid, bro. No, no, no. You think about your kid now that you have a kid. But before you have that kid, I'm saying, th- this is before the kid. This is what I'm trying to say. Before you have that kid, the decisions you're going to make are based on you and your girl. And the fact that you're going to have a kid one day. So if you go, for example, you don't buy a house. Oh, we're going to chill in this house for a little while. And then when we have a kid, we're going to sell it. You don't do that. That's, that's, that's ridiculous. You get me? You're going to get something so you can be prepared for it, right? Mm-hmm. The same thing with a car. You don't want to go and just buy any car. You're not going to buy a Lamborghini, be fucking your girl, and then bam, she gets pregnant. Like, oh, shit, what do we do now? Well, fuck it. You get me? Now you have to go and, right? Yeah, you did it, you did it. Exactly. But all of it just comes down to you and your... And if you're single, you want to be out there in these streets. Yeah. And, and if you want to be out in these streets, you're definitely out here in present yeah, for yeah. sure. You get me? Like, for yeah, sure. You I definitely... Know, you want your Beamer. You want your nice clothes. You want all of that shit. You, you get me? You want the bachelor lifestyle. So, to, to some degree, the big moves you make in your life 
are going to be for a girl. It's going, and if you have a daughter, guess what? That's for a girl. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll see what you say about that. So the the point, at the end of the day, the whole point here is that I understand how I said it. it might be like, but the, the how I, I like saying shit the way I say it because I it, it causes yeah. people to be like, what you the fuck? You of course, of course. I don't. And first of all, I'm not educated enough to be politically correct. Let's get that one out there. I'm really not. I'm really not educated I enough don't to think be you like. You want to be? No, I'm just not like to be, be to be politically correct all the time is annoying. Think, think, yeah, you know it too. It's it's it is like you have to think about what you say yeah. all the time. It's like imagine being a politician. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Really yeah, because um, it, you get canceled for everything. Exactly. So and, I, and I you have to that. care. But I mean, like me, I don't care if I get canceled. Right? I have two followers on Instagram. Mm-hmm. I don't care. <laughs> As I'm down to you, <laughs> that I really don't care. You know, so like, what are you gonna cancel me for? But overall, you kind of you kind of get, get the get point. The point is like, are we asking ourselves why do we do things? Why do we call girls who sleep around with other guys hoes? We we all want pussy and some girls want dick. You get me? Like that's normal life shit. You get me? And I understand that you know you you bring the Bible into this, which is like the best educational part because it's really like it's for the soul like that you know when you bring the bible stuff into it, it's really for your soul yeah. i mean it's not about like oh, i'm trying to teach you a yeah, lesson yeah, yeah. so i can prove you wrong no, no no like a lot of shit that you say if if especially the people like listening and watching you digest that shit is for your soul it's like it's like those times where you feel unsure or like the time where i was saying like oh i just felt like damn like it wasn't fulfilling i understood where that stems from yeah. you know I mean it's unfulfilling for a reason mm-hmm. you know I me mean? like it it's clearly there so all those things that you say matter too you know what i'm saying that's why you bring the politically correct you know soulfulness <laughs> to here let me bring some other jealous. shit that i be thinking and I'm all for no, it. you know i, I don't think savagery understand. i don't think i think savagery i just be thinking some shit i just talk about it no, yeah i mean that's really I, what it is and that's literally the goal of this right I, I think to the to the point that today we did it extensively. Yeah, 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 <laughs> but, for sure. Uh, but and, and I'm all for it. I just I just like to always challenge the. You make this big big announcement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. BTW, if you didn't know, you every goal, every decision you've ever made was yeah. for a woman. You loser. Uh, yeah. I'm supposed to be like. Yeah. What he means, guys. And you're like, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> well, it's because it's not. Because look, at the end of the day, we just gotta go through the through the root. Okay. Hitler, why did Hitler kill all those people? Did we ask why? Hater. Yeah, but why? What made him a hater? Like, was his mom a hater? Was his dad a he hater? He was a hater because he like, got rejected uh, from art school. Yeah, like, he was a failed artist. He was a failed but a lot of things. Something and else then, put that in it. Like, no, there was no, a battery put no, on no, his no, back. But think about it. He was a hater because everything in his life was a failure. Mm-hmm. And then he's looking at a Great Depression in Germany where yeah. everybody is struggling except for who? The Jewish people. The Jewish people who were flourishing because they controlled money, mm-hmm. they controlled markets, they controlled gold. And so you're looking at it and you're like, how come me and mine are suffering and you and yours are fine? But that's easy to say. And that's a hater mentality. Yeah, but I'm saying, well, you, well, the story you're saying is, okay, the story you're saying makes sense, right? And like when we go to history class, it makes sense to the students. But now, how can we have a real conversation about this? Is is the question? Because it's hard to have a real conversation. First of all, because we don't know who the fuck this guy really yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, number yeah, one, right? Really... Exactly. We don't know who his parents really are. But that's what I'm saying. Like the the intro to him being a hater stemmed from where? Like, was his dad a hater? Well, he had a was rough, his mom right? That's what I'm saying. Like, it all comes down to something. Yeah, but like for some, the way my mom views life, the way my dad views life, the way your mom, your dad views life, all stems from somewhere. Yeah, of you know course. Me? Like the way we view failure. You know what I mean? For example, you want to win basketball games when you go play ball. I don't care. I'm I'm happy just I got to play. <laughs> you, l- look at the differences. You get know I me? Mean? Yeah. You're you're used to playing ball all the time. Nigga, I just started playing ball yesterday. I just want to play some ball. Yeah, Win or lose is for, for me. It's competitive. Is I have very competitive. There's, but I don't that do things, stems. I don't wanna, I'm not gonna win. Ex- but that stems from somewhere. Though. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? That no, no, and I, and I understand. Somewhere. Like that's why I'm all. And, but for you see how you knew that though. What? You see how you knew yeah. that too? You're like, oh, I'm very competitive because, and you probably pinpoint, oh, yeah, when yeah. I was a kid, well, it, was, it was like this. It, it and was uh, like, you know, for us, my parents were always like, they encouraged, but also kind of expected excellence. Okay. And now it's something that becomes so engraved in me that I don't like playing and I don't understand it. And I mean, this series, I don't mm-hmm. understand how people play for fun. Mm-hmm. I don't play anything for fun. Mm-hmm. I don't just. Let's just have fun. Mm-hmm. That the, to me, fun is when you compete to the best and then I win. That's mm, fun to me. Got you. And I don't even that I enjoy winning. I just want to make sure that you're challenging me and that I'm giving you all I got. Like, that's the challenge. I need the competition. So if you have the competition and you lose, you still mad? I'm mad because I'm like, damn, bro, I should be better than this. I'm not mm. even mad at you. I'm not like, a, like yo, what the hell? Yeah, 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 of I'm course. I'm like, course. yo, I should be better than this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I am a bad loser 
and I am a careless winner. Uh, I don't care about winning. I just don't want to lose. Okay, but you but should, I know where all that comes from. Right, but you, you could dissect it yeah. though, and that, but that's so, and you, the reason you could do this because for some shit you probably thought of. Yo, yeah. why am I mumbling so much today, man? Huh? You, heard, you realize that I've been mumbling so much today, yeah. like yeah, I, know, I don't know what's going on. You sleepy already? <laughs> Maybe, but you know the but the point that you could dissect something and you could yeah, understand you it because about it. exactly you, you examine yourself. Right, which yeah. is at the end of the day that that's that's all you can really ask for. Yeah, like, I mean, because again. You said you said that shit to me in a vu long time ago. I saw some girl I'm like, damn girl, too pretty to be in that car. He said, Oh, you think rich people are you yeah. think pretty people are rich? I'm like, no, I don't. He's like, yeah, I do. I'm like, nah, bro, I don't think about that. Whatever. Time went on. I started thinking, you know what? Maybe he's right. Cause I didn't I wasn't paying attention to that. I was yeah. I'm I'm looking through shit. I'm like, damn, yeah. you're a pretty girl, you're a pretty girl, you're a pretty girl. My assumption is you either have money or you got guys after the you that have money. money. Yeah. That, that that's it. That's that's literally my assumption. So in that case, I wouldn't even and like. And I, I think a hundred percent you nailed it on the fact that a lot of us we live on these one liners and mm-hmm. we never know where that came from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, like you know, like like those moments where people mm-hmm. have those hater mentalities. Yeah, man, I'm that big. Yep. Why you said that? Not because it's not that big. No, no. But why did you really say that? Oh, because I'm feeling insecure that that person's mm-hmm. succeeding and I'm not. Exactly. But like, you know, until you get really challenged. Mm-hmm. Most people don't look down deep. Like it's right. just, you, we'll take well, most of us. We take s- surface value. Mm-hmm. What you said is what it is. Yeah. Instead of no, no, that's not really what you meant. You know, because mm-hmm. I think that this goes to the fact that we all need therapy. Mm-hmm. We need someone to ask why. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Why? Until you and I are at the point where like I don't know. I think it's this, 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 this. When I was three. Exactly. You know? and, no, no. I agree with that. And, and, and it's okay to not know yeah, too, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't know, but cool. At least ask why. Exactly. But at least that, that's my whole thing. My whole thing is why. Can, can we have the why conversation? Yeah. You know what I mean? Without, because I, I was just saying this to Fatima too, that, you know, it's easier. Like, for example, when, so when I talk about certain things, the way I say it is easier for some people to write it off and be like, oh, you're just a fuckboy. Oh, you just this. It's easy to do that. You know what I mean? I will. Right, well, let's have a conversation real quick, right? Why am I a fuckboy? And we've had this conversation before. I, I think on podcast too. Oh, just the way you look, you know, shit like that to me doesn't make sense. You get know I me? Mean? Yeah. But again, like you said though, because we see it as face value. It's, oh, you know what, motherfuckers that look just like you done shit. Yeah. Again, that's kind of that could be part of racism too. Oh, you're it black. It gen- part racism because you're black. <laughs> I seen a lot of black guys rob that look just like you because you have a wife beater and you sagging your pants. I don't trust you. And that's like yeah. some type of stereotype, you know what I mean? And, and it just and keeps going down. And we, we don't, don't know allow, why. Yeah, we don't allow nobody to challenge us, uh, our stance, which is like, that's how it is. That's how I am. That's exactly. How blah, blah, blah. That's and how it's always going to be. Exactly. And you think you get into these conversations with people, and people just want to write it off. As, yeah. oh, okay, you're just this. They write it off so they don't have to have the conversation. And that's like, well, just get, people get exhausted. They're like, nah, man, that's it. Just drop it. But It's I, easier to drop yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. It's easier to drop it. Then to get to the bottom yeah, of it. Yeah, nobody, nobody, that's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, nobody wants to admit, yes, I'm insecure. Yes, I'm fucked up. Nobody wants to admit that. Everybody's like, yo, I'm perfect. I'm great. I want to show you how I look on Instagram, on Twitter. You know what I mean? But nobody's really putting some real shit down. You know what I mean? Like, why, why do you think there's such a big uproar? Uh, because Instagram's going to take the likes away. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, how yeah. am I going to know that I'm popping? Exactly. Now, now that's, I mean, first of all, that's like already big too. It, it's two sides to that, but yes, that for well, for the initial I'm gonna, people. I'm talking about the monetary. If yeah, you yeah. Make money, I understand yeah. you're going to get screwed right, over. Right. That, I'm talking about the regular 90% of the people who don't yeah, profit yeah, yeah, yeah. on Instagram. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, Yo, where, where am I going to get my ego boost Exactly. Well, the, the, the reason I said two sides is just because IG is allegedly going to have the likes. You're just not going to show it. So that means they can now position themselves to make money to like make money from brand deals to partner yeah, up so like yeah. it's like yo let's say i'm an influencer i don't know how many likes i have so now the company that's trying to hire me has it's to reach out to instagram and, yeah instagram. you know that bullshit so that it's might like, be instagram it becomes intimidating. exactly I understand it's that like part. instagram's like yo there's yeah. too much money being made in this shit and we're not making any of it yeah i mean it's that yeah. type of mentality yeah, yeah, so like, how can we get a cut and, mm-hmm. and i get that but i'm talking about the rest of us no, no I, of yeah us. yeah most yeah. people be like yo how not, how am i gonna know now that i'm popping because i know there's girls that delete their pictures when it and hasn't got enough hear, likes. Yeah, I know. Like I had this argument with Fatima. Like, oh, I've never done that in my life. I still, to this day, do not believe her. I want you to know that, nigga. All right? <laughs> I don't believe you. I know you have to delete some picture because it wasn't popping enough. It had to be because I feel like a lot of people do that. You've deleted your whole Instagram. Not because you're not popping, but just because you decided, yeah, I want a fresh look. Yeah. And then you start posting again. Part of it could be because you weren't popping. No, maybe, Oliver, maybe, Oliver, maybe Oliver. if you was popping, popping, you probably deleted none of those pictures. Uh, if you got a bunch of comments like, oh my God, I love this picture know, so much. I love this. No. You probably not deleted none of them. Uh, maybe. You know what's funny is that I was literally, I love that you said that. <laughs> I was literally looking at this mug today and I was like, yeah, this thing got to go again. For her? Yeah. Like, do you even have pictures of right now? Yeah. Of what? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I don't For know. Really? I have a few though. But my point is, like, I just trip. be getting bored. Mm-hmm. I'll be getting bored. I'll be getting bored of myself. I know how bad that is. Uh, fair enough. And you get bored of yourself. 
I'll be like, you yeah, had too much going on. That's why. Yeah. Yeah, too much going on. Yeah, yeah. When, when you have so much going on, and like you actually, that's not to tell you you live a good life. Like, you be thinking I'm playing, but I feel like when people start living a really good life their worries become first world problems oh yeah you know what i'm saying oh, yeah. like oh, yeah. like first world problems are actually funny when you know how the rest of the world is living you know what i'm saying like i like, think about it like one of your problems is ah oh, no nah, nah. well, actually one of your one of your problems right now is that you have too much going on right you, you got school you got church all this all this family mm-hmm. stuff going on almost every day right you have so much going on there's people that have nothing going on, and they yeah. wish they had at least one thing going on. You have first world problems. You get yeah, me? That, agree, that, that's like something called a first world problem. Like, like a third world problem is like, yo, I have to like walk down like ten miles every day yeah. to a well to grab water to pick it up. I got a little mini fridge in my yeah, house. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, f- yeah, first yeah, world like, problems like, different. I was, I was like, oh, I broke my Apple Watch. I need to get a new one. Like, that's a first world. That's a first world problem. problem. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I know you live in a good life when like the complaints are like. Or I don't call them complaints, but like, like you know, the That's, problems yeah. or the issues are, like you know, they're nothing. Yeah, yeah they're minor in comparison yeah, to real life. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's like, yeah. bro, come on, bro, like nobody died, yeah. everybody healthy, yeah. we good. Yeah, yeah. like it's nothing yeah. serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a first world problem is like, fuck, I don't have no fucking Wi-Fi right now, I can't watch Netflix yeah. or that. That's a first world problem. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo, like, why is this LTE so slow? Exactly. <laughs> that, that again, first world problems. That and we, you can't really blame the first world people either because third world people. They don't know that there's people living worse than them. Cause I'm sure there's people where uh, I know there's third world countries there's and there's like somebody better, somebody worse. Exactly. I'm about to say I know there's other countries where we don't know about that is underground too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, human trafficking. We call human trafficking worse than third world countries. Yeah. You know what I mean? Human trafficking happens in first world countries. You get me? So it's 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 a big dynamic. You know what I'm saying? But so everybody's screwed. We're all screwed. Yeah, man. And the reason we do everything is women. Mm-hmm. But Jesus loves you. Yeah. So hey, man. Let me tell you something. We went from talking about uh, how rare uh, shoes are. So talking about child trafficking, children trafficking. all the way to no, we didn't really talk about trafficking, and we developed that into a girl conversation that we try to develop to a girl conversation about men talking about what well, women, we no right? right? Women. We have no rights. Yeah, we My keep, goodness, we keep mansplaining women how exactly we- <laughs> how, how how they should think, how we think in that sense. But you know, that didn't work out, that and then like we kind of jumped into some uh, relationship stuff here and there, you know, and then we talked about just ask why. So. The moral of the show today, if you even stuck around this long, is ask yourself why. You know Don't saying? take it at face value. Yeah. Why do you drive to work every day? You know what I'm saying? Like, why? Why do I have a chauffeur? Exactly. Why doesn't George, out of his million dollar, you know, inheritance, give me some money and I could quit my job? <laughs> why? why? Million dollar inheritance? I wish I had a million dollar inheritance. Dollars, Millions. Yeah. Okay. You know, so we got to ask the why question. So this Christmas, right? When you're uh, getting ready to make that Christmas list, if you haven't already bought that stuff from Black Friday Black and Cyber, Friday, Monday, Cyber if you, Monday, if you're making your Amazon, list, you got to ask yourself, why am I buying this person something oh, you know at all? About it? What? About it. This could be the next episode. The next episode, run down. Do this. Right? Okay. 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 Next episode, right? Christmas. Uh-huh. Yo, I thought exactly why I buy people their gifts. Really? I thought about it. Okay. It's because it's my love language. I hate uh, hugging people. I don't really like saying I love you. I much hate hugging people too because I feel like it's, people are like, like people say I love you to hear back. So t- I don't like yeah, saying yeah, I love yeah. you. Either. Gotcha. I, I I always say I love you, right? Yeah, but yeah. I don't say it in the sense of like, yo, I got so happy telling you I love you. Like yeah, it's just yeah, like, yeah. yo, I want you to know that if I die today, no, I loved you, right? Like gotcha. that's how I say it. But it's because I like to show people that they mean something to me. Mm. So like I was making my list. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking like you know, and I and I like to think strategic. When I give gifts, I don't just oh this is expensive. This yeah, is, yeah, no, yeah. I want to give you something that I think has value to you. Yeah, and shows you that you have value to me. Mm. Right. So gotcha. I realized that because I like to give significant things is why I like to give Christmas presents. Mm. So I planned accordingly. Almost all my Christmas presents are already bought. Okay. Okay. And at home. Okay. You know, and so it's ready to go. like about, about a month You're before good. Christmas. So you're, good, you're ready. I realized that this is why you ask your why. Yeah, yeah. Because now I'm excited to give people Christmas presents because mm. they mean more to me 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the stuff I give, but the person I'm giving it to. Right. That's why I don't give that many people gifts. So, so in 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 your own in your own way, that is the why you give people yeah. gifts. Because I still don't have a why. I be asking myself you why. Give anybody I don't like any of these people. Yeah, I give gifts. Give anybody like gifts. literally, all of you guys, I be thinking like, damn, I don't really like you I guys. Told you, just give me. Every time I see you, I be tired. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't get it either. But you know, hey, I do it anyways. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cultural <laughs> code, just conforming to the ways of the world. <laughs> now, nah, now you know, I think I could relate a little bit to that. I I don't like hugging people at all or any of that stuff um but i think you know for me like the people i choose to give something to is because you mean something to me yeah, it's, it's it's like it's like um in in the same way like if i choose to like chill with you get me or have a conversation with you it's because like you know what Let, let's let's try to get a little bit deeper here get me like if i if i choose to have a conversation with you for real it's like all right like let's see if we can get somewhere deeper yeah. here you know what i'm saying that's that's always my my thought process right and then when it comes when it comes to that too it's like what, who I picked to give gifts to was like, all right, because like if you popped in my head, because you mean something, you were yeah. actually in my life for some period. I'm like, it, it means something. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, for all the baby mamas out there, and you're looking for like a stepdad, <laughs> I could be your stepdad. Uh, for uh, what? for your child what? for one Christmas. You got one Christmas, and you got half a New Year's with me. Uh, I'll be accepting. What's the budget? What's the budget? No, we talk about that, you know, because it depends who who you are. You know what I'm saying? Are like, popping, popping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, I mean, if you're not really popping and I give you, like, a set budget that's, like, really high, you're going to be like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? And if yeah, so it, it got to fluctuate. You know what I'm saying? We, we got to depend. Uh, okay. We got to cut it where it's so, at. So there's, like, a, a scale, you know, based yeah, yeah, on your yeah, looks, yeah. based on your nah, you know, nah, 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 I'm not that shallow. I'm not that shallow. <laughs> Just based on, like, your, your living. I'll be, like, the government. You know what I'm saying? Like, your income, like, based on your income that you make a year. Your tax record. Yeah, yeah. Based on the income you make a year, I will, you know, make my estimation on, you know, like, the budget and all that. So, so you know, your kid can have a happy uh Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Get some toys. And you can have, you could be a little bit happy too. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A little bit of blessings. All right, this has been I'm down. If you learned anything, if you thought we were dumb, if you thought we Definitely. were foolish, if you thought we were wise, if you thought we were popping off. It don't matter. The point is, hopefully you watched this and said, hey man, if they could do something, I could do something too. That's the Facts. whole point of I'm down. We'll see you next time. Peace.